Come on, him. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. On today's episode of so uh, Soul Food Kitchen, we are making salongtang. Bora, tell us. Salongtang, axpon soup. Hmm. Where do I begin? I would say salongtang is Korea's number one soul food that people just love, love, love. It's affordable to many because it's made economically by boiling the ox marrow bones in a large pot and recycling them over and over again. Personally, Salongtang brings me back to those days when I first came to LA from Korea when my pockets were always so empty, so was my stomach. Oh, back to tray. So long tongue. It's like making takatsu ramen broth, except you're using ox bone instead of pork, and ox doesn't seem to stink like uh, pork bones. But it's very easy. Let's go over the ingredients that we're gonna need for this one. We're gonna need brisket, salt and pepper just for taste. We're gonna need rice noodles. Am I correct, rice noodles? We're gonna use uh, about six pounds of ox bones and we're gonna use green onion, strictly for garnishment. This is a long recipe. It's really easy, anyone can do it. You just gotta be prepared that it's gonna take about 46 hours. I am sure most of you looked at my booty jigae video. And you're like, where did Trey get that such a rich broth? Well, this is a broth right now. I'm gonna teach you how I made the broth. All right, let's get start cooking. All right, so we're gonna start by pre-soaking our bones and our brisket. So we're gonna take our brisket, we're gonna place it in some water, and we're gonna take all our bones as well, place it in water. We're gonna let this sit here and soak for about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. All right, now we're gonna take our bones and we're gonna rinse them off. We soaked our bones, we rinsed off our bones, now we're gonna quickly blanch our bones. So we're gonna put it in boiling water for about 10 minutes, they're gonna immediately take it off, we're gonna rinse it off again. So we can check our bones and they're boiling. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna cut this off and we're gonna go quickly rinse this off. So, now we rinsed off our pork bones, washed off all the uh, extra excess stuff or whatever, but we still have marrow and meat on the bone. So, you can use the same pot. I just started to save time and have another pot of water boiling. So you're gonna use about 30 cups of water and you're gonna take your bones and you're gonna cast it back into the mountain. Cast it into the fire! Ha. And you wanted this to be utter, you wanted to go to rap, a rabbit boil. Is it rabbit? We're gonna let it boil for two hours on high heat. And we're gonna check back in one hour because we're gonna add more water to the broth. And I'll see you in about an hour. Okay, after one hour, and the, you can see it boiling, and it's not quite white enough yet, but it's turning white. You need to add more water to it because a lot of it diluted because of, uh, it, well, evaporated. So you want to add two quarts of water back to it and we're going to let it go back to rapid boil again and for another hour and we'll see you in another hour. So it's been two hours since we uh, put the bones in there and we want to see what color hue it made. And you can see that it is now white, like white bread. We will be serving white cake. So we have all our white broth done. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna drain it into our little bucket. Uh, Glass is getting all foggy. 
Boom. Done. But we're not done quite yet, folks, because we're gonna take these bones, put them back in the pot, and we're gonna do the same process all over again to get more broth. That's the beauty of this whole thing right here. So, you're gonna take these, add more water to it, and put it back on the fire. Ugh. For the last hour, we are going to boil our brisket with it. So we throw our brisket inside. So we're gonna do this again, one more hour, and we should be done for the day. Then we'll go over the rest of it after it's done boiling. Okay, it's been two hours. We're done. So the first thing we're do, we're gonna dig inside here. We're gonna take our brisket and set it aside. From here, we're going to pour our broth into the other broth. And we're going to take our bones and save these bones because you can use the bones for pho, you can use it for just bone marrow in general, make yourself a bone marrow sandwich, which I freaking dig. Okay, boom. All right, here is our so long tongue. All this what perfect, wow, perfection. We're gonna take this, we're gonna let this cool off to room temperature, then we're gonna store it in our refrigerator. We're gonna wait for 24 hours the next day. I'll see you in 24 hours. 24 hours later. What's up, everybody? It's been 24 hours, and now it's time to check on our salon tub. Hello, Jumbo Nim. So, open it up, and you can see right now that it's solidified. You have a layer of fat on the top. You just take your spoon and take out the fat. It's easier than skimming. Boom. And if you look at it, it's all like solidified, like jello. Like, you put the pudding in the pudding cup. Except I'm not wearing my gold coffee sweater. So you're gonna take it. God's back again. We're gonna start off by heating up a pot, putting our salong tong in the pot. Gets all nice and boily. Then we slice our brisket. Then we're gonna cook off our rice noodles. I'm sorry, our flour noodles. I made that mistake. Put it on the bottom of our serving utensil. Sliced beef, mmm, good. Ladle on our salong tong, delicious, yummy. Then we're gonna sprinkle in our green onions for garnish. And you flavor it with the salt or pepper. Got out. This is it. I hope you like my salong tong. Don't forget to hit the bell. Hit, subscribe. And like Soul Food Kitchen. I'll see you on the next episode of Soul Food Kitchen. I, 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 I,